Deadly McKinney fire, this is in Northern California, has grown to the state's largest wildfire that we have seen yet this year. Uh, rain assisted firefighters. The McKinney fire remains, however, out of control. So far, it has burned about 90 square miles. Valerie Linfoot recently lost her home in the Klamath River community in Northern California, and she is joining us live tonight. Valerie, I am so sorry to hear about what you all have been through. How are you holding up? We're, we're just trying to get by. We're um, really grateful. We've had a lot of good help. We have um, a very tight knit, -knit community. Um, it's uh, it's it's devastating. I'll, I'll say that. Was this your primary was, home, Valerie, or was this some place that you had planned to retire? We've lived in this home for 32 years. Um, my husband was uh, the fire management officer for the Forest Service. Um, at it right, right across the road from where we live. Um, we have lived in our home for 32 years. Um, we've lost, as you can see, absolutely everything. Um, our community is decimated. There's been over a whole over 100 homes burned. Um, there's four fatalities. We actually know one of the persons that's passed away. Um, yeah, it's it's it, and and just this was a beautiful, beautiful place to live. You know, just nature and trees and and it's it's completely gone. I am so sorry for your home and and for the loss of someone that you know. Um, you know, fire season is something that seems like it lasts year round now, especially for you folks in California. How much warning did you have uh, before this fast moving blaze moved in? Well, my son is a dispatcher at the Interagency Dispatch Center in Medford, and he actually called us and told us there was a small fire in McKinney Creek. He first called my husband and then myself, um, but it was small, and he didn't—he wasn't worried about it. And we were kind of watching it, and it looked like they were um, doing pretty well. And then a huge um, thunderstorm came through, and um, basically. Um, it collapsed and created a fire situation where the fire spread in all directions and it just was like a freight train. And so it was very quick from that time. And um, when my husband um, found out um, about the fire, he went to go help some neighbors um, move some farm equipment and, and um, to help them to get ready just in case. And by the time he returned home, we had already talked about with the trigger point of when he would leave. And it was already at the trigger point when he got home. And so he just started grabbing the most important things are our safe and our um, papers. And he left basically with none of, none of our belongings. He did not have enough time. Mm. Um, and then he um, went to the community call and started to see the fire um, up above and below and on either side of our home. And then they evacuated the community hall and he had to leave. Well, this thing just exploded. We're looking at these incredible images. Uh, Valerie, we re really appreciate you highlighting um, the long road ahead that you and so many others will have in this community. We're thinking about you tonight. I, I can't even begin to, to grasp logistically how you, how you start over from scratch um, in a place that you've lived for more than 30 years. Um, really appreciate your time tonight. Stay in touch with us, okay? And, and let us know uh, ways that we can get, get this out there and help in any way we can. Definitely. Um, our community is uh, the Clare Community Hall is going to be starting a, a GoFundMe fund mm -hmm. account. Okay. Um, my my family has set up a GoFundMe account for us, um, and we've received a little assistance that way. Um, we were quite a bit underinsured, so it's going to be um, a big recovery. Um, but definitely our community, um, if people are interested in helping them, they should um, look for the Klamath River Community Hall and um, please donate to them. All right. We hear you. Valerie, thank you. Take care of yourself, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.